Hi guys, today I'm going to be looking at a video which is a webinar, not a seminar, but a webinar which somehow seems to originate or be, I don't know, on, on Sapiens. Now, S S Sapiens is like, a, this is the sources platform where Muslim apologists now are dumping all their stuff. Now, this is a video which is, if, if you go to the Sapiens site and you go to the ones that you've missed, you will see that it's listed here, but for some odd reason, you can't see it unlike the others. I don't know why this was deleted or not deemed worthy of being included in the videos because others you can, this one you can't. Now, the, the video is, is called The Protected Book, The Preservation of the Quran. And in the video, um, it's more like the holes in the Quran preservation narrative exposed. You always have to have this word exposed in there. And it's by Muhammad Hijab. I encourage anybody who is really interested to go deep to take the class. I do this class, it'll be one year later. And I went over every one of these issues with time and with reading and by developing their minds, no problem. Some of them were not experts in Qur'an, no problem. We, we gave them the, the background information and we took it with them. But in this 20 minute interview, half an hour interview, it is wiser to not do it. I'm not going to go into the history. I'm not going to go into whatever. But, but unfortunately, he's doing exactly what Yasser Qadi told him not to do. And he's making a complete mess of it. So it's even worse than what he did before. Now, yeah, I think even Muslims realize that there are holes in the standard narrative. And the speech by hijab does nothing to plug them, even though he talks for like almost two hours. But these these holes, you cannot really plug just like that if you go and look at them and you understand them. And it seems, well, I don't know if he does. He doesn't, he, this, this Quran preservation story is something that he doesn't seem to want to understand or understand or doesn't really know what this is about. Anyway, this video is just a giant straw man. It's, it's about the Kirat and Aruf. And this is not what we're talking about. And this is exactly what hijab was told not to do. And, and he screws it up, just like Yasser Qadi predicted he would. And again, my, my final advice to, to these brothers, look, Yafi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this religion very, very vast. From the very beginning, the Sahaba had multiple mm -hmm. understandings and interpretations. It's not just about fiqh. Choose those whom you feel most comfortable with and then be quiet about the rest. Simple as that. And he causes a contradiction where, for example, the Quran says it's protected and Hadith say that there are variants. So I don't know why he has to do that. The thing is, the way that he explains it is, is exactly what Yasekadi says you should not do. You should first take his, well, his, his lessons or his course or seminar or whatever so that you get the basic information on how to handle this. He doesn't have this. So he jumps straight into a topic that he does not understand himself. And this then is the perfect example of a strawman fallacy. Uh, he, he, okay, how so? Right. Let me let me just quickly explain. We're talking about thousands. Now we, okay, we non-Muslims, we, we the, 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 the critics of this, we're, we're talking about thousands of alterations, additions, corrections, deletions, omissions, and we're not talking about the pronunciation of tomato, tomato or tomato, tomato, or variants like boot or trunk. They refer to the same thing. This is not what we're talking about. We're talking about tomato and, I don't know, donuts. Real differences. Hijab is not. We're, we're taking the foundation, the, you know, the, the claims in the Quran. A perfect God, a perfect book, protected, preserved. So a single difference shows us that the Quran is unreliable and obviously man-made. Now, the, the speech by hijab is full of holes itself. But the, the thing is that he discusses the, the Kirat and the Aruf, the pronunciations, the variance in the way of reading certain words. We are talking about real differences. So he, he takes two hours discussing something that we are not talking about. And that is why it's a strawman. So he, he, there's just things that, that he discusses, that he says that there are thousands of companions that memorize the Quran. Okay, but we, we don't know what version or variant w did they memorize. The problem is that so many hands touch the stories and they were embellished every single time. Every some, Somebody added something or took something out and, and imposed their view on them. So it's impossible to say which text, whether Quran or Hadith, doesn't matter, which is the original. And then at some stage there was total chaos. 
and nobody knew which was correct. And the Quran was written, and this is something that the hijab, he admits, it was a vote of popularity according to what he is showing here. And that's how bad it was. So there are countless stories telling the reader how people at the time decided what was included in the Quran and why. So it is totally clear that the Quran is unreliable and obviously man-made. It's, it's there, it's in the text, it tells us this. And what is, okay, another thing, what is hilarious and quite embarrassing is this claim that all other copies were burned. That's what it says here. But then a few months ago, he was overjoyed when the Birmingham fragment material was dated to the time of Muhammad. Well, which it wasn't, just to be clear. But our little Muslim apologist had believed this and claimed this, which is just another contradiction because according to the Hadith, according to the Islamic text, everything was burnt. So this Islamic Birmingham fragment should not exist. He should have listened to Yasir Qadi and stayed away from this. Okay, thanks for taking an interest and if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Do me a favor, tell me why. If you give me a thumbs down, maybe I'll improve. And if you like it, go and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.